Hi everybody, it's Linda and I'm back to share one of the coolest tricks ever to adding modeling paste to your textured surfaces. If you have like frames with dents on them or boxes with dents and you want to add texture paste, this is the way to go. So um, I discovered this method today when I was playing around because I just I had a frame that I was working on and you'll see that later in this movie and um, yeah I'll show you this is tissue paper right Kleenex just regular stuff and um, can use any kind of tissue paper that you have and your stencil that you want to use just place it on your tissue paper and we're ready to go use the modeling paste you have it is uh, really nice if you have a modeling paste that is flexible because that is a must when you're going to shape it you know on whatever frames or projects that you have and grab your spatula and your modeling paste a generous amount and just hold down your stencil and be a little bit gentle because it's tissue paper I call it tissue tape I'm sorry <laughs> and let's you don't need like a very thick layer and just cover your stencil like so okay oops there's a small piece down here okay then just lift and straighten okay can you see that yeah you can see that now leave it to dry completely okay and be sure to clean out your stencil so it doesn't get uh, destroyed and I will show you now the rest of the process of this after it's dry so this is what the tissue paper looks like once the modeling paste has dried you can see it's a little bit crinkled up but this is how it looks like on my dimensional frame and it is so awesome because the tissue sort of just like melts into the frame so that it almost come, becomes invisible once it's dry and what you do i'll just show you now because i'm going to attach some of this down here as well so what i do i just cut out the piece that i need to do this and Just cut between those bricks. Yeah. And then I have a brush with a short, um, I don't know what to call these, but these brushy thingies. They're pretty short because this is quite stiff, which is good when I'm going to press down this. So I just dip it into my Mod Podge or gel medium, use what you have, and I just brush on a good coating on my frame. And then I just put down this. And now you just start someplace in the middle and you stretch this a little as you go and add more medium to make it stick and the stretching that I'm doing is just to adhere it so that there is space between the bricks can you see that and if you don't have enough just lift it up and go again and Okay, now I need some more of the 
gel medium just be generous because it will seep through anyway and it will be possible to correct as you go along <clears throat> okay so i'll cut off some of this okay like so and then just smooth it down using my fingers and it's good to you know just press down in between here and if it loosens it doesn't matter just put it back where you see fit okay so make sure you press down into the little dents in your frame okay here i need some more mud podge here And brush away the excess glue so that's how my frame looks now and I think it's just awesome and I'm going to spray it and you know do stuff with it still so I'll be adding just a few bits and pieces there and down here okay so yeah I think this is just a brilliant idea uh, and I hope you'll try it on your projects as long as you have a surface that is textured this is a good way to add your modeling paste to it and make it melt into the background I sprayed my frame using color wash espresso and butterscotch and look at how awesome this is and once it's dry, I'm going over it with some white here and there. And I will be brushing it away and just leaving just a little bit just to show off my textures better. I've been using my paint dabber to just put some darker spots here and there. And now I'm just going around the edges, dipping my brush into the whatever it was called let's see color wash just to finish the sides of my frame and I'm using the darkest color the espresso for this and it is turning out just so awesome guys at least in my opinion <laughs> now we're getting somewhere and when this is all dry because it's not completely dry then I'll see what I can do with the white paint and stuff and we'll see if I might be destroying the whole thing but hopefully not I'm using some watered down white acrylic paint to get these things to show and I just go between the, the brick pattern here with my watered down acrylic white the reason why i water it down is because i don't want it that white i don't want it to be too shiny white on this because it's a grunge project so what i do i just take some white and i add water i pick up water with my brush and add it and then try to follow the lines in between and the texture the paint like so and that enhances the brick pattern
I have also added a little bit of Blazing Sun Lindy Stamp Gang Blitz Spritz just dabbed on to add some shimmer to it. So that gives me this look here. So hope you like my project. Hope you give it a try. It was an awesome way to add texture paste brick pattern to this frame, I think. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.